Okay, so today we're going to talk about the BTEC in AI at IIT Hyderabad. And you might have seen a lot of videos about this on YouTube, but what's special about this video is that I am one of the students who are studying uh, BTEC in AI at IIT Hyderabad. I'm currently a secondary student, so, and also the BTEC in AI at IIT Hyderabad also started last year only, and no other IITs have BTEC in AI so far. So we are currently the only batch who are studying BTEC in AI at IIT Hyderabad or in any IIT for that matter. But if you are considering BTEC in AI at IIT Hyderabad, I hope this video can give you a little bit of insight, a little bit of a better understanding. So when you're choosing colleges, you can make a better decision because these four years are going to be really crucial for your life and four years is a long time. You don't want to make bad, bad decisions, right? And here I'm only going to talk about the BTEC in AI at IIT Hyderabad. If you want to know more about IIT Hyderabad in general and its college life, you can check out this playlist over here. So these are the things I'm going to cover in this video. One is curriculum, second is faculties, third is projects, and fourth is my personal experience. So talking about this curriculum, obviously the whole four year curriculum is already given to you. And uh, if you don't know how to find it, I'll just hop onto my laptop and show you how to do it. So all you need to do is go to Google type IDH, then you go to the official website obviously and go to academics and departments uh, departments in engineering you go to artificial intelligence you see there is BTEC, BTEC minor and a lot of end techs and PhDs you go to the BTEC the first one when you click on that you get the whole curriculum BTEC curriculum of all the semesters and all the electives and stuff but the thing is, this one is outdated. This was what we followed last year. The new curriculum is actually different. It is not available on the website. I have the one. I mean, I currently have it. Uh, it was shared with us because our curriculum did get changed a little. And the first year curriculum will be different from what we actually studied first year. Not much, but there will be little differences. Uh, I don't think I can give a link to this. So you can maybe take a screenshot or something. So this is the whole thing covering all the semesters and all the electives and how the number of credits and stuff get uh, dispersed among the uh, what's it called semesters. And this part is the curriculum changes for our, our batch. You don't need to worry about this. All you need to worry about is the first part of this page. Yeah, you can screenshot that if you want. I'll briefly go through the first year courses to give you a little bit of understanding about what is taught. Uh, you can see Calculus 1 and Calculus 2. Those are the basic following uh, courses after your JE Calculus. Yeah, uh, then you get Environmental Chemistry. You'll get some of this uh, science electives like Environmental Chemistry and Modern Physics, so those kind of stuffs. Um, then you get Intro to Programming. Coming to Intro to Programming, some people think that you have, if you are taking AI or CS in any college, you have to know programming from before. That is really not the case. College does not expect you to know any programming at all. They will start to teach everything from scratch. So you don't have to worry about that. There is obviously an English communication test that is uh, conducted by some other organization. Again, English is really important. Communicating in English, understanding and speaking English, those things, if you get a lower score in that, they're going to train you properly. And there is discrete mathematics, which is mainly probability. The first thing is mainly probability and some discrete math. You'll get to know all of that graph theory and stuff. And there is also the intro to AI course, which is just a one credit course. That is, it runs for uh, one third of a semester. Even being a really short course, it is really insightful and it gives you a lot of insight about uh, the main algorithms and the main basic structures that are used in AI, a basic simple neural networks and stuff. Yeah, so first semester, that's basically it. Now coming to second semester, you have series of functions, which is actually calculus three. You also have vector calculus, which is a really fun course if you have it. Uh, differential equations, that's another course I didn't finish. And there's gonna be artificial intelligence. That's a new course. I don't know what they're gonna teach in that. Uh, I, we didn't have that in our second semester. Probability and random variable, really important. If you know like probability, random variable statistics, those are the like one of the main pillars of AI and artificial intelligence and especially machine learning, obviously. There will be digital fabrication where you're going to make 3D models and ultimately print that out with a 3D printer. It's really fun. And uh, bioengineering, that's again something we didn't have. That is a new addition to the second semester in the newer curriculum. Engineering electives, you're going to have some ID course. You're going to have a basket. You're going to have a lot of options. So you're going to have to pick one of those. Yeah, so that's all right. 
programming for AI, that's again something we did not have. And then LA or CA elective. LA is basically liberal arts and CA is creative arts. You can really find uh, really good and interesting LAs and CAs. You can find uh, CAs about manga drawing. You can find LAs about uh, reading and writing Japanese, spoken Japanese. Those are the things that interested me and those are the things that I took personally. But there are obviously other things like pottery and um, poem writing, movie critiquing and all that stuff. One surprising thing is that we had introduction to data structures in second semester. You know, you guys are not going to have that. So I don't know why they did that, but data structure, you're going to have that in third semester, I guess. But anyways, data structure is a really important thing. You're going to learn it anyway. The next point is professors. Now, if you are talking about an institution like an IIT, obviously every professor is really well qualified about teaching. But it sometimes happens that you don't think well with a professor and that's completely okay but most of the professors you will find really interesting and if you're interested in the subject you can ask questions, interact with them, if you're in outside classes and they're really helpful. They're really helpful with any kind of problem you face. Now talking about the projects, there hasn't been anything uh, like a large project which is AI oriented. We have made projects like uh, simulating the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, with a particular model so that happened that's mostly all the projects we got in first year uh, other projects were not ai oriented not related to coding so that's why i'm not like mentioning all of this now i think it's important to point out that the first year that is the first two semesters are only going to be about making your foundation strong that is like if you don't know anything about coding you will be taught enough of coding so you can implement stuff in ai or machine learning or cs whatever you're taking four courses going on i had one exam this weekend and uh, i have some club activities i need to take care of and so in between all this i was kind of procrastinating to not put up a video this week but uh, someone told me that the j advanced results is tomorrow that there is tomorrow in the sense from when i'm recording this uh so i think this was really needed at this point and really needed urgently so i think i gave you some insight about how it is and also as i pointed out at the start of the video that i am only going to talk about btech and ai in this video so i hope you got some insight if you want to know more about IIT Hyderabad in general, like if you are choosing IIT Hyderabad as your college, you kind of want to have a better understanding about how the student life and how the college structure is and how everything goes. Uh, so I have some vlogs and some study vlogs, a little summary of my college life and also a full college review with another of my friend from college. Uh, so maybe you can watch all of this if you want to, if you don't want to, it's completely fine. And obviously we are really close to 55k subscribers. We might even be at 55k by the time you are watching this. And life update things have been really getting busy. I have joined three clubs currently and they need some work obviously. So I have to kind of take some time out of my day every day and devote to that. I have some projects. Or maybe a project that I'm working on. And there are four courses going on. Uh, the first segment is over. More courses are going to start from this segment. So things are obviously going to get hectic. And honestly, I don't know if I'm going to be able to publish one video a week. So forgive me if that doesn't happen. So yeah, I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try my best to publish one video a week. Even if it's just me talking in front of a camera, not much editing. I hope you guys don't mind. I hope you guys don't mind. And uh, probably a lot of people are asking about study with us part three. When is that gonna come? Uh, you need to understand that I have more than 250 people uh, who submitted their videos this time. So I really need a lot of time to download all of that and a lot of time to edit all of that. So it's probably gonna take more than a week. And I hope your result was good. Even if it's not, it's no big deal. Don't worry about it. Kind of tired. So I will end this here. I will end this here. So and sorry if this video is really boring, um, I'm not gonna get much time to edit this because I really want to get it out before the J advanced results come out. So best of luck if your result hasn't been published yet. Uh, I hope you do good and that will be it for me.